So I got the call. They are going to total out this MX-5, which is kind of a bummer. It, um, being an anniversary edition, kind of makes it a little bit special, but it is what it is. Insurance Auto Auctions also called me and told me that they should be coming to pick the car up in the next couple of days. So I went ahead and bolted the hood and the bumper and the headlights. All the parts I took off, I kind of bolted them back on just so the record driver wouldn't have to deal with a bunch of loose miscellaneous parts. Since Insurance Auto Auctions is going to be picking it up, you can look for this car at an Insurance Auto Auction sale and maybe bid on it and get it for the right price. All right, so we've got another MX-5 in the shop. This one is also an insurance job that was on the track at a track day event, and he had the Haggerty insurance. So we're gonna basically do the same thing we did on the orange car. We're gonna pull this thing apart, get some measurements, and get our supplement together. So I'm gonna try something a little different on this car. I'm gonna leave the rocker covers on the car. So when I set it up on the clamps, I'm gonna have to turn the clamps sideways so that it just sits on the pinch weld, but that should give me a good datum line so I can get all my measurements. All right, so we've got this thing set up on the clamps. Most of this car was taken apart before it ever came to our shop. The front bumper was even held on with just zip ties, so it made it pretty easy to take apart. Now what we need to do is go over the whole car with a fine tooth comb and make sure that there's no hidden damage that's not on the initial estimate. We'll climb under it, get some measurements, make sure the frame rails are where they're supposed to be and nothing is moved. And uh, yeah, just look the car over really well. All right, so we've got the bottom side measured. Now we're gonna climb up top and get everything measured out up top. Got the top side measured out, but there is one bolt back here that's actually the rear cradle bolt that holds the cradle to the car that I'm a little bit concerned about. So I'm gonna climb back under the car and get that spot measured out. We've got all our measuring done. We've looked the car over really well. I've taken some notes. So now I'm gonna compare my notes to the initial estimate and see what our supplement needs to be and go ahead and write that up. I've got the supplement written up and I'm gonna go ahead and send it to the insurance company. So we're gonna be waiting. I don't think this car is gonna to total because there's not that much damage to it, but you never know with the insurance company. So while we're waiting, I'm gonna go ahead and get the wheels and tires put back on this car and get it off the frame machine so we can start on the next car. Working at the unemployment office has to be a tense job because if you get fired, you still got to come in the next day. <laughs> All right, so that's gonna be about it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and if you did, hit that like button and share the video with your friends. 
And if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing and clicking on the bell icon. That way you won't miss any future content. I don't typically get a lot of insurance work, but you know what they say, when it rains, it pours. And if you have any thoughts or questions, you can leave it in the comment section down below. And as always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next one. See ya! Since auto -op, you should be able to look Bruh. and make sure this is going to be the lot. Oh my God! Before we came.